are ready now in Tempe, Arizona with the 20th Dunkist Fiesta Bowl. And Smith takes to the yard deep. To the 15, cuts back at the 20, has an opening out to the 30-yard line. 31 yards on the return. And you expect for Louisville to come out throwing, and they do. Nagel has the time, and he is going to scramble, not known for his scrambling ability, and then he completes the pass to Ken McKay. A gain of 20 yards on the opening play. Play action fake again. And this time, the pressure from the front three is too much, and this is the confrontation. There are many in college football that say, this time Robert Stewart who got him, that Thornton, Stewart, and Holbrook the best front three in college football. Play action. And it is tipped, intercepted. Alabama has the ball. Stacey Harrison with the interception. And the first turnover of the ball game. And Alabama comes out throwing. This is a surprise. And Hollingsworth is brought down by Flores. Okay, listen to you. The quick pass right side is complete to Curtis Lipsy. Second and 11 at the 46. And the pass is complete to Ken McKay, the tight end. The Browning name is going to have this be effective. He's got to be quick with it. He's got to be ready to go. And he goes deep. And it is incomplete. Fred Jones, he laid it in there perfectly, and Jones juggled it for a moment. <laughs> no help, he was no help at all. Not at all. Not at all. Third down. And Hollingsworth overthrows everybody. It'll be fourth down. I think it's time to put the fifth down controversy to bed. I really do, because he spiked the ball, thinking that it was third, thinking they were going to the fourth. It's an official's mistake and not a team mistake. Play action. Juggled and then caught, and here goes Latrell Ware. 70 yards, touchdown Louisville. I have the dents in my body to prove that that man can hit. So can his son. Second down, here is Anderson on the counter. And he battles his way out to the 24-yard line, and the flag is down. So oh, there's a fumble underneath. Mel Mills caused the fumble. Come on, come on. And Nagel will try to capitalize come on, come on. immediately, and he goes to Curtis Lipsy. And Lipsy goes to the 18 yard line. Five and a half minutes to go, first quarter. Louisville leads 7 0, now trying to capitalize on the turnover. And the Alabama defense is there. Lipsy, the ball carrier, and Klaus Wilkesmeyer will attempt a 37 yard field goal. He was not supposed to kick field goals today. He's been bothered by a nerve injury in the groin area. And now we have contact and, and an exchange of punches. Dead ball foul. Offside, defense. First down. First down at the 15-yard line. And a throwback pass to the quarterback. High, wobbly. He pulls it in. He had to wait on it too long. He wants to set up a screen. He was giving a lot of ground. The screen was not there. A flag is down. We have clipping on the offense. When you talk about whether or not they're ready for big time college football, boy, did he have an answer. He had a giant sized chip on his. In fact, it was a building, not a chip. <laughs> Dawkins inside the 10. Dawkins to the five yard line. the corner and he's got it and it is blocked and i believe was it holbrook holbrook has been the star the goat and the star again as holbrook blocked the extra point attempt second down and on the draw here's turner turner to the 45 whoa back pedal 49 yards has been able to be successful in this drive in both areas. We'll play action fake. 
Puts this one up for grabs. It's intercepted. Should not have thrown this one. William Blackford. And a three-man run. And he goes deep. Double coverage. Caught at the 45-yard line. Fred Jones. could turn it around when he took the job at Louisville. A lot of people said uh, it was a no-win situation. No doubt about it. He's turned it around before. He can turn it around again and again and again. I had always had confidence in him. As hot as he was, maybe he's thinking, man, well, I got the hot, hot hand. Let me keep going. Let me keep rolling seven. And he's brought down for a lot. And again, the Cardinals growing very quickly without the huddle, forcing Alabama to go without their normal substitution. And he throws, and it is intercepted. Antonio Langham with the interception. And Alabama with the ball just outside the 42-yard line of Louisville. And here is Junior Sewell, William Blackford with the tackle. Collingsworth, here's the screen. It is high, but pulled down by Junior Sewell, and he is immediately pulled down by Ted Washington. Doyle, the consistent All-America kicker, has hit this year from 47 in his career. He has hit from, from 53, and they expect him to make these. And does he? No, he misses recruited by the major schools across the country and he is here as the future of Louisville. Here is Dawkins on the pitch. And Dawkins continues to do what his coach told us. He said, watch the yardage that he makes after there's been defensive contact. Right now, the only thing that I can see, the you know, problem that we're having is uh, there are some uh, communication problems on, uh, uh, with, the, with the coverages on the defenses that we're playing. Charles Gardner is going to go the distance here with an interception. He's sorry about that, Tom Hammond. But a bad throw by Brown. An interception there. He goes all the way. Charles Gardner threw it right to him. And Nagel is looking right into the sun. Brings this to that right side. Bass is complete to Lipsy. And Lipsy is out of bounds. Two touchdowns and an interception. And he has a first down here. And a fumble on the exchange. Nagel, was it Nagel that picked it up? Somebody got a hold of it. Dawkins was picked up there. Not only did he yeah. get the fumble, he got a couple of yards. Howard Schnellenberger and Gene Stallings, both assistants at the same time under Bear Bryant. They faced each other in the red-white game. A lot like this one, except it was spring football at Alabama. Nagel is going to keep, and he goes oh, to the 45 Looks like he'll be about a yard shy of the first down. First down. 
Curtis Lipsey. First down at the 47-yard line. Play action. They go rolling, rolling to his right. Throws downfield. Pass is complete to McKay. And it's the first down at the 30-yard line of Alabama. He's a bright young man. He really is. Bingo! Pass for a side to A.C. Cummings has it. And he is out at the 16-yard line. Gain of 13. And let's see if he can go to the 6-yard line. He doesn't get any happy new year. Over the top and Lipsy is rushed. John Sullen. Klaus Wilmsmeyer with a 19-yard field goal attempt. Looks to me it's going to be 20 if he places it at the tip. And it is blocked. Antonio London, number 55, was in to make the block. Third and 11. For a couple of yards, it'll be fourth down. Nagel has completed 12 of 20. He has thrown for 275 yards. And now the straight shot up the middle. Here's Pete Bynum. And the ball pops loose, and Alabama has it. From the shotgun. Hollingsworth leads it out to the right side. This is Turner. And Turner down the sideline. Dragging John Gainey with him, who is the best cover man for Louisville, and he picks up 10 on the play. And he is the speedster, a freshman who won all kind of high school track awards. Nice, the pass goes to the other side. Well, the quote that keeps making the paper from Howard Schnellenberg with regards to a national title is that it is going to come through Louisville. The only variable is time. As your throws, pass is incomplete, stops the clock with four seconds now to go. And a 49-yard field goal attempt by Philip Doyle. And he is now 0 for 2. Doyle missing from 46 and now from 49 as the first half comes to a close with the score of the Louisville Cardinals 25. The Alabama Crimson Tide 7, and this is the 20th edition of the Sunkiss Fiesta Bowl. And they can use up to 99 plays with their numbering just in the way they flash the numbers in. Dan Gangler of Fremont, Ohio. Louisville's first opportunity in the second half. Nagel scrambles and throws. The pass is complete to A.C., but he was past the line of scrimmage. That's the battery dead. Well, of course, the argument on that point would be that they would say that it's where he threw it and not where he ended up, but he's got a point. There is Lipsy. Lipsy to the 15, the 45, the 40-yard line. So far, they haven't really been able to pressure Browning Nagel, and he's been able to find the open receiver. And he fires on target to McKay, and McKay to the 15-yard line. Nagel, a pump fake, goes to the end zone to AC. And Cummings has his second touchdown of the ball game. 19 yards. Once again, the Cardinal with the key. But man, scary stuff. And a wearing, of course, the number 91 for the New Year. And the pass, they're going to call pass interference. Second down and four. That, of course, would be a school record. Here is Turner up the middle. Oh, and he's brought down at the Louisville 48-yard line. Nebraska had this problem last year with Florida State. The flag is down. The pass is complete to Lassick. He's going to end up losing a yard or so. And we got the flag to check out. Louisville 32, Alabama 7, 8-14. Time remaining in the third. This is Charlie Jones, Scott Christensen, Tom Hammond, Gail Gardner also here for our coverage. As Ware jumps to the outside. Then brought down at the 22-yard line. Well, you got a shot there of Howard Schnellenberger, Charlie, and we heard him there in the locker room say there's no way they could know how it means so much more to us than it does to them. The pass is complete at the 35. It'll be a first down. 
Sometime in spring. You know, I, I have, you know I'll, I'll still be in school and you know I have more time to think. And Nagel goes deep. And it is incomplete. Alabama from their own 17-yard line, and they have a change at quarterback, and he is sacked. Danny Woodson has a quarterback. And he steps forward, avoids the sack. He's to the 10, the 15, cuts inside, brought down at the 21-yard line. Pressure from the backside, steps forward, throws on target. First down to Derek Lassick. Blackford with the tackle. No, I guarantee that. <laughs> Unless it was a sway back. They stayed in the bars. <laughs> Whipson scrambles around the corner, and then Alabama to the 50 yard line. Please, no way. There's Mitchell, he is dumped. The ball pops loose, it is a fumble. And Alabama recovers it. Was it Trip Patterson that got it for the time? Moving on the two-minute mark, time remaining in the third. Over the middle, and it is completed to 43 of Louisville to Derek Lassen. Louisville is expecting the pass. They rush three. Woodson steps forward. He's got the first down inside the 30. A great move at the 30-yard line. He goes to the 13. And they have a third down just outside the 10 of Louisville. Complete in the end zone. Woodson races for the corner. He will go to the four yard line, which is going to be close to the first down. There is the mark and the measurement. And Louisville takes over on down. Nagel going deep. It is there, complete to Fred Jones, and he is caught at the 29-yard line of Alabama. There's no way he could have dreamed of it being this good. Get out, get out, let's break. And breaking inside Ball carrier is, is Curtis Lipsy, the Louisville offensive machine operating on all cylinders. Nagel. Oh, he's a strong kid, too. They just don't bring him down. They go. Throws complete at the five-yard line to Curtis, to uh, Ken McKay, and he adds 15 more. And how he does there, of course, will have a lot to do with it. Over the top and brought back as Dawkins went up and Sellers was there to stop it. You don't think this is rubbing it in, going for a touchdown here up by 25 points? No, I just think it's the kids from Louisville, and they just want to score as much as they can against whoever they're playing. And Alabama stops him. Lipsy. And now they're going to call well, it to the and it will be a safety because it is assessed from the spot of the foul and Woodson is still down. Now he gets up. And here is the putt following the safety. At the 40-yard line is Joey Smith to the 50, to the 40, to the 35-yard line of Alabama. You know, the one side of it is to say, hey, preserve yourself for the future, but then again, moments like this don't happen all the time. You want to milk them best. Enjoy it in the now. Bob Costas is also down there with his crew, and they'll be covering not only the Federal Express Orange Bowl, but also all the happenings that have taken place on bowl day today at their own 34-yard line. Woodson rolls out to his right, points downfield, steps away. And he's going to be brought down at the 32-yard line. And Buchanan recovered it in the end zone for the touchdown. That made it 25 to nothing. And this one is intercepted. Here is Hawthorne on the return. At the 35-yard line, Lorenzo Cole with the down. We'll be going away from this ball game before its conclusion with Louisville in complete control by a score of 34 to 7. We'll be moving on to Miami.
and the battle for the national championship. And a big bold day of one-sided scores. It's amazing what has happened throughout the nation. Fourth down, this is thrown up and incomplete. And so Alabama will take over on down. The 6-14. Time remaining. A flag was dropped back at the four-yard line, or down at the four-yard line. My guess is they're going to call it offensively because I think George Teague did a good job of coverage. And Teague Kutu just pushed him off. So that will wrap up our coverage up here. We'll wrap our coverage here. So stay tuned for the national championship in the Orange Bowl, Colorado and Notre Dame right after these messages from your local station with the score, Louisville 34, Alabama 7. Happy New Year, everybody. And on to the Orange Bowl.